The Liberty men's lacrosse team hosted NC State and UVA in a fall ball scrimmage, which gave the Flames the opportunity to play against competition, as well as provided the teams an opportunity to play lacrosse again. I think the prospect of being able to compete again was pretty high on a lot of players' minds. And, and I actually think there was some, some eyes on us uh, outside. You know, there really hadn't been any lacrosse games, official lacrosse games played uh, anywhere uh, until, until we were able to compete recently. So it was, uh, it was a big time for us. And uh, I think it was, it was, it was a relief um, to be able to see uh, that lacrosse games can be played again in a safe manner. And I think a lot of people took a collective breath once that took place. Um, but um, for us personally, I think we gave a lot of opportunities to um, our guys to, to practice, but not a lot of moments for them to prove themselves. And, and that was just a perfect time. Um, and, uh, and we're just grateful that, that we're able to even just step on the field again. I think that's what this year is gonna be a lot about and, and, try, to, uh, and try to turn it into something where, hey, every game we play, uh, we have to play with an attitude of, uh, of being grateful or being, uh, having gratitude for for being able to compete and, and play with, play something that uh, that we prepare hard for and uh, and and love to do. It was super good. Like I haven't played in a long time uh, since my like junior high school because I mean we didn't have a senior year at all and it was great to come back and be able to meet some of the guys. It's a great way to enter college, getting to meet all different kids from all different grades and. Just playing lacrosse is my favorite thing to do, and I missed it and haven't got a chance to play it for a while, so it was just great to be back out on the field. I mean, it was definitely hard back in the spring when uh, our season got shut down. We had worked pretty hard all fall and going into the spring, um, and then for it just to get shut down, it's pretty, pretty disappointing, but um, being able to finally play and get on the field and run around with the boys again was just a really awesome opportunity, and I think it's gonna translate well come the spring season. The Flames had a solid showing on the day as they defeated UVA 10-1 before defeating NC State 16-9, giving the Flames not only the opportunity to roll through their lines, but gain valuable experience for the team. We've been practicing with like certain guys that we're supposed to be on the lines with and stuff and building that team chemistry and I also think hanging out outside of practice has really helped with that team chemistry and getting to know people and their tendencies. and. I mean, there's lots of new guys in, and also guys that have been playing with each other the last four years, so they know what they're doing with each other, and they got to learn how to adapt with someone new. But um, I just think it was great to have the opportunity to play two very sound teams with good programs, with good defense and good offense, and it just really helped us be able to showcase what we've been practicing on all fall and be able to get that competitive nature out and go out and play someone besides ourselves. It was a fun time being able to play, but it was definitely beneficial for uh, a lot of our younger guys, especially myself and some of the newer players, to just be able to play against actual teams, playing against ourselves all fall. I mean, got a little chippy at times, but uh, being able to finally play against other guys and hit somebody else is just a really good opportunity, and it's going to help us a lot. The Flames will now prepare for their season that will kick off next year as they will look to win the Atlantic Lacrosse Conference inaugural championship while continuing to showcase why Liberty is one of the top programs in the nation. Every game is going to be uh, game by game and we're, we're really going to going to have to take advantage of every opportunity that we have. That, that should be true every spring obviously but this spring is probably even more so. Um, I think we're conscious of that and I think that's something we're going to continue to preach that um, that you know, play, you, you do have to play every game like it's your last because you know, we experienced that last, last, last spring. So the opportunities are on the table. The the, the stage is set. Um, we've got uh, a new conference here, and uh, we can't really put a more favorable opportunity before us. We just gotta um, remain focused on, uh, on on ourselves and uh, and just do do what we know we're capable of, and uh, the the rest will will show itself to be um, to be successful.